One of the most important pieces of gear that you'll ever have for a backpacking trip is your rain gear. Rain gear is super important not to make a trip comfortable, but also to keep yourself safe. Now I've tried all different kinds of rain gear in my backpacking over the last year. So today I'm gonna go over a few of the pieces of rain gear that I've tried and I'm gonna show you what I'm actually gonna be carrying on my through hike of the Appalachian Trail. When I first started backpacking, I bought a pair of the super cheap frog togs that you get on Amazon. I don't have those things anymore. I wound up ditching them in a hiker box in Franklin, North Carolina. So I picked this little baby up at the NOC in North Carolina on my last long hike. This is the North Face Venture 2 raincoat. This coat is an extra large, weighs 11.6 ounces, and has a lot of features that I did like. I really like this raincoat until I wore it on a summer trip. Now the things I really did like about it is that it fits nice, it does keep you dry, in a downpour and it does not wet through. I did like all the features about this raincoat. It fits well, it keeps me dry when it's raining and it doesn't wet through. However, the problem that I did find was on the inside during the summer, it didn't vent very well and I began to sweat. But isn't the point of a raincoat to keep you dry, not only in the rain, but also on the inside of the jacket? So I decided to ditch it but that thing cost a hundred dollars so I didn't want to spend a ton of money so I picked this up so introducing the frog tog extreme light rain jacket that is seam sealed and also will not wet out and although I found it a little bit more breathable I didn't get wet on the inside as bad as I did with the other jacket it does have the same velcro ties to tie around my sleeves as well as the cord draw to tie up around my waist keeping things nice and dry on the inside and as well as the adjustable hood but is this the perfect piece of rain gear are there other pieces of rain gear that i need to consider or do i need to have multiple pieces of rain gear for different situations so i added this to my kit a lightweight umbrella so I can go hands-free on the trail and that makes it super easy when I'm vlogging on the trail to be able to keep my equipment dry but is that all I need but what am I not considering are there other pieces of rain gear out there that may work even better what about the poncho this is a Dyneema gear swifts poncho and could be one of the most versatile pieces of equipment that I've ever owned. It may not look cool, but in the rain, it sure does vent. Now, not everybody can pull off a poncho, but I tell you what, if you wanna keep all your gear dry, have a lightweight, most versatile piece of equipment in your kit, the Gear Swift Dyneema Poncho is something that you should add. Well, let me show you why. It also can provide a temporary shelter for you to keep your gear dry as you're packing up or unpacking. And at 5.7 ounces, it could be the lightest shelter you've ever had. Well, that's all the rain gear that I'm gonna be bringing on my Appalachian Trail through hike. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you wanna see the rest of the gear in my pack, check out this video right here. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the trail.